Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. It's so busy on Thanksgiving. It seems like everybody's going out to eat. The Strip and Chinatown was just packed with people. So I wound up here. This is Buffet at Asia. You can see how crowded it is. You can't find a seat, but I found a way around it. They do have a bar area. So if you are okay with sitting at the bar, you can probably get a seat right away like I did. This bar area actually has some tables where you can sit at. They have tables for two and I think even four. They have a little TV screen, a couple of them, so you can watch the game if that's what you want to do. But nothing beats a good home cooked meal, especially for Thanksgiving. Can I cook? Yes, I can cook. I've perfected my recipes for Thanksgiving over the years and the decades, and I can cook. I can cook up a storm. And Thanksgiving's a time of feasting. And sometimes people go out to eat for their Thanksgiving meals, especially here in Vegas. But you cannot compare a home cooked meal to the hotel Thanksgiving dinners. There is none. There isn't a Thanksgiving meal out there at the hotels that can compare to what I can do here at home. But, you know, Thanksgiving is a time when people go shopping, Black Friday deals and all kinds of other activities when they have friends and family. So people will go out to eat. But you still have to have one of these meals, a home cooked Thanksgiving meal. There is no comparison anywhere, not even in the Vegas hotels. In Las Vegas, some of the restaurants will have special dishes for Thanksgiving. And sometimes they'll have special all you can eat deals and not just Turkey. Sometimes they'll have seafood, Chinese food, all kinds of food. If I don't have a home cooked meal with Turkey, it just feels like I'm missing something. A lot of people like to cook, but most people don't like to clean up. So for convenience, sometimes they'll order the to go Thanksgiving meals, but they will never be as good as what I can make at home myself. This buffet on Thanksgiving of 2022 was 1721 with tax. I haven't been to Buffet at Asia in a long time because I've read some pretty bad reviews. There are all kinds of complaints in the reviews, everything from service to the quality of the food. So I came here not expecting anything and found that the buffet was okay. $17 isn't too bad nowadays. And the food was pretty decent. It's not spectacular. There wasn't any special seafood dishes or prime rib or roast beef, but they had a pretty solid buffet. The surprise for me at this buffet was their beef bone soup. This is actually oxtail or parts of it. Oxtail is awesome. Oxtail has an extremely good flavor. They had some other soups like a tum yum, the Thai style soup, and they also have an egg drop soup with corn. This buffet is a Chinese buffet that's similar to a lot of these kinds of buffets that you can find everywhere. There's one on West Sahara, a little more west called Crazy Buffet with a K. That's actually my favorite. They do have more of a selection and their food is exceptional. I would say above average, much better than most places. I do have the video of Crazy Buffet in my playlist for those of you who've never seen it. This place didn't have any crab, but they did have some really large chicken wings. And it wasn't like crazy flavor, exotic flavor. It was your basic chicken wing with a little bit of seasoning. Pretty good. So this is my beginning overview of the buffet. Just going around, seeing what they have. They have the chicken on the stick. I usually like those. The steamed fish that you saw a little while ago was really good. Your vegetables, if you're a vegetarian or you just feel like vegetables, fried rice, your usual Chinese dishes. And then they had turkey because this was Thanksgiving day. And you can tell um, a lot of people were getting their turkey here. Uh, the turkey was pretty dry, looked pretty dry anyways. I'm gonna try it out a little bit later. This place was pretty crowded and a lot of people were eating up the food and they were replenishing the food pretty regularly. So the upkeep I would say was pretty good. Nothing was really left too long without being refilled again. In my opinion, whenever they bring out fresh trays of food, it always looks better. This is their chicken and jalapeno. It looked pretty good. I'm gonna have to try this. Even during the short time that I was walking around, they were refilling the trays constantly. There was a lot of people here. Have you ever tried these Chinese donuts? They're pretty amazing. And then these sesame balls that are filled with the sweet red bean paste. Those are really good. They do have a fruit section. They had some desserts. 
but I was more focusing on the food at this point that had mussels with cheese on top. Those are usually pretty good. They had some small squid or octopus. So it's not like they don't have any seafood. They do have seafood here, just not the premium stuff like the crab, no lobster. But I heard that they did have lobster, at least at one point. I noticed some people getting that oxtail soup and it was pretty depleted. There wasn't much left, but I had to get it. I love oxtail and I have a lot of friends who love oxtail too. They usually go to the California hotel or look for places that serve oxtail. And apparently it was a pretty popular item with the crowd here today as well. There was the tum yum soup and the egg drop, but it seemed like the oxtail soup was the one that people were going for. So I got the last of the oxtail, put it on the table and was going to finish my walk around. Some of the food can be deceptive. It can look really good when it really isn't. And other items can be really surprisingly good, even though it just looked plain, like the garlic bread with the seafood on top. Their teriyaki chicken looked pretty fresh and hot. It's very important that the food is hot. And during this short time that I went to finish my walk around, I noticed they had added more oxtail soup and people were going after it again right away. So I got there fairly quickly right after they refilled it and got some more. Now here they labeled it as beef bone soup, but there's no mistaking that it's oxtail. It doesn't look like oxtail because it's cut differently. I don't know what kind of pieces they are or how they cut it, but it definitely is oxtail. If you know oxtail and you tasted this, you will agree 100% that this is oxtail. Looks like a pork rib, but it was oxtail. Oxtail has a deep, rich flavor. You can definitely taste the bone in the broth. It's almost like similar to bone marrow, the richness, the deep bone broth flavor and the meat. The oxtail meat is unique in itself. The flavor is amazing. You will definitely be hooked. You don't really need much anything, just the oxtail meat. And it's quite expensive, but here they keep refilling it. So if you want to gorge on oxtail, you can come here and get all you want. A lot of the other Chinese buffets also have oxtail. Just something to keep in mind if you really like oxtail. While editing this video, I noticed that I got the items that I usually get. They're usually the items that appealed me. Only today I got the turkey. It was okay uh, on the dried side. Of course, it won't compare to what you can make at home. I noticed that I usually get the chicken on the stick. These are really good. They have a good flavor. But like I always say, you got to get what you want, whatever appeals to you. Buffet food may not be the highest quality unless you go to a really expensive buffet. However, they do have variety. And if you're really hungry and you can eat more than three or four plates, I think you'll get your money's worth. And I can't eat as much, but I'm still doing three or four plates. So and on this day, I thought it was a good bargain for me. I like these Chinese donuts. They're not too sweet, but they have a fried dough taste and they're fluffy. And then the sesame balls with the sweet red bean. It's like a chewy rice cake, a little crunch from the sesame seeds outside. And then the sweetness of the red bean paste. All pretty good. Every Thanksgiving and holidays, it seems like the strip is so crowded and Chinatown is so crowded. And particularly food places, restaurants. This is where people go. Almost all the places that I considered eating at on this Thanksgiving day, there was always a wait. Tons of people. Everybody is going out to eat. So you got to pick wisely. I tend to stay away from the crowded strip. Chinatown is crowded too. So if you know local areas away from the center of Vegas, you might have a better experience. Here's the beef tenderloin. I really liked this beef tenderloin. It didn't have a char. It wasn't grilled, but it still had a good taste and it was soft meat. I don't know if it was real tenderloin. And then the pizza. Pizza always appeals to me and one slice won't hurt me. It won't take up too much room. It's not like New York style pizza, but it was still good. Melted cheese with pepperoni. As far as this beef goes, whether this was truly a tenderloin cut of meat or just regular beef, it was still good. It was tender with a good flavor. Good enough for a buffet under $20. Fried rice, you have your Chinese dishes, anything you want. I even got corn. 
corn on the cob, chicken and jalapenos. The jalapenos were pretty spicy. If they cooked it a little more, it probably wouldn't be as spicy, but there were some big chunks of jalapenos and they all retained the spiciness to the max. The barbecue pork was one of the deceptive items because it looked really good when it was out there. But when I got to the table and I ate it, it was pretty dry. So this is an item that wasn't as good as it looked. But you could do worse in Vegas. You can pay $20 for a buffet and wind up with less than average food. It would have to qualify and be cleared to make it into your average cafeteria at your bus stop. That's how bad a buffet can be in Vegas. And then some people can pay $80 to go to a premium quality buffet in Vegas and still have a bad experience. A buffet is a buffet. But if you're not expecting too much and you're okay with average food, sometimes you get your variety and you get all the quantity you want. The steamed fish was good. I always like this. It's in a light ginger soy sauce with scallions. It's hard to mess this up. Usually it'll be pretty good. When I start eating at a buffet, I'm usually hungry. Everything looks good and tastes better. But when I'm starting to get full, then everything starts to taste average. And then everything starts to look less appealing. And then I don't feel like eating anything anymore. Well, I guess that's how it works. That's how an appetite works. One of the things I do at these Chinese buffets is I get my fried plate. At least that's what I call it. Crab rangoon and egg rolls with sweet and sour sauce. Sometimes I'll just drizzle a little bit over the top. Sometimes I'll drown it. Depends on what I feel that day. Sometimes I like the sweetness of the sweet and sour sauce mixed with the creaminess of the cream cheese and the egg rolls too. I had a buddy in college who used to do this and I used to see him do this all the time and now I'm doing it. It's actually pretty good. The desserts here aren't spectacular. There's not a whole lot, but they do have fruits and some baked goods, some cakes, some donuts, things like that. When it's pretty crowded in Vegas and I'm looking for something to eat pretty quick without making a reservation, this kind of a buffet can usually substitute for some of the major buffets that I don't wanna to go to and stand in line at. So that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.